You know, everybody keeps talking about the market shift and the market correction, but have we already had the correction? Are we past it? And we're already even correcting things back from a correction? Let's talk about it today. What's happening guys, it's Jeremy Blanton with Remax Southern Shores here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I wanted to take some time today to kind of discuss what the heck is going on in our real estate market here? You've probably seen things on the news about the markets crashing and interest rates are going up and the Fed's raising rates and inflation and recession and a housing bust is coming and the bubble's about to burst and gloom and doom and everything in the world's gonna just die basically right now. And well, that's not really the case. So I figured I would take some time today and kind of discuss what's happening in the real estate market right now here in Myrtle Beach. So before we get into, you know, the housing things, we should first probably talk about just the economy in general. And that is, yes, we are definitely in inflation right now happening across Myrtle Beach, across South Carolina, across the entire nation. You know, gas is now so much more expensive, but even things like going to a fast food restaurant has changed. The other day I was running some errands and had to go up to Little River to check on a listing for a client of mine. And I figured I would just quick swing through a drive through here near my office, grab a cheap, easy meal to eat on the way up. So I went across the street to the Bojangles and ordered a chicken Supremes combo. You know, nothing special, chicken tenders, some fries and a drink. And it was over $10 for the meal. That meal used to be right around five bucks. But with inflation now, prices have gone through the roof. So people nowadays are paying much more attention to their pennies and not spending it on frivolous things because it's costing so much more. In addition to inflation slowing down the amount of excess money that you have for buying things like a down payment on a house or an investment property, the other thing that has really started to affect our market is interest rates. Yeah, those used to be down in that two to 3% range. I remember I refinanced my house last year in the fall and I got a rate of 2.875. If I went to a bank right now to try to refinance my house, that rate's probably going to be double, if not more. What happened? What in the world's going on? Well, with the whole market and everything in the world just going up in the air and going skyrocketing up price-wise, the lenders decided that it was now time to start to raise up interest rates a little bit to help shift the market a little bit, correct things, and make things slow down a little bit. So we watched the interest rates at the beginning of the year that were right around the 3% mark start to creep up. Then as we got into February, they started to jump up. They went in February at around 3% to May over 5%. Then we saw things kind of hold off a little bit there. And then in June to July, they jumped from five to over 6% for some people. And when that happened, everybody just kind of went, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. What in the world are we going to do? Quick, grab the parachute, pull the line. We got to get out of here and get to safety. But here's the thing. You don't want to rush right now. The market is going to balance out. We're going to see things come back down to a level of normalcy. Normalcy is not a bad word to say, guys. It's not a curse word. Let me say it with me. Normalcy. Yeah, look, you did it. Good. That's safe. You're now in a good shape. All right. Normalcy. What does that mean? It means that the interest is rates are going to kind of flatten out. It means that this inflation of prices on houses that we saw that were going up 10, 20, 30% in some areas almost overnight is going to start to level out. We're gonna see that inventory of homes that has been so low for so long is going to start to go up. Yes, let me be the first to tell you, the inventory in Myrtle Beach has doubled over the last few months. Oh my goodness, doubled, the market's falling, everything's crashing, run, run, run. No, let's take a minute and think about this inventory back in the beginning of this year was right around one to 1.1 months of inventory. Right now, we're sitting at two months. Yeah, two months. That's not a lot of property out there available for sale. What has happened is we've seen this inventory start to go up a little bit and everybody's freaking out thinking we're going back to 2008. As I said in last week's video, talking with Dave Ramsey video, it's not gonna happen. 
the market's not going to crash. The housing crash that we had back then, that wasn't a housing crash, that was a financing crash. And we're not gonna see that happen again here. So inventory has doubled, not really that big of a deal. What that does mean is that for those of you that are thinking about buying a home, right now is a pretty good time to go out there and pick. It's some of the best times that people have had to buy a home in a very, very long time. Why is that? There's more options available right now. The big name builders are starting to get a little panicky because their inventory that has been super, super low is slowly starting to tick back up. It's nowhere near the levels of what they used to run two, three years ago, but because they've become so used to being down with hardly any homes available, they're thinking right now, I have 10 homes sitting, we gotta start cutting prices. We need to start giving some deals the people to get them in the door. Let me give you an example. One of the big name builders here in town has a development. It's just about two miles away from my office and they're building a home there. One of the agents actually shared this story with me earlier today. He's buying a home and it was for sale for $535,000. Across the street from it was the exact same house with just a little bit different elevation. That home was for sale for 525,000. And he debated, should I go buy the cheaper one? Should I get the more expensive? He said, I'm gonna get the more expensive because I like the design of the outside a little bit more. But other than that, it's nothing really different. Well, over the weekend of July 4th, this big name builder decided it was time to start clearing out some inventory in this development because they had a lot of things sitting. So what did they do? They went and slashed the prices on the homes. The agent that they were giving a commission to used to be $2,500. Instead, they came back and they said to the agents, sell one of our homes during this weekend sale because it's the end of our year coming up fiscally and we need to get as much off of the inventory books as we can to make our numbers look real good. So they slashed the price of the home to $497,000. Yeah, $525 down to $497. Then the agent he was buying this for himself, but he was getting a $2,500 commission. Instead, they jumped that up to 1% of the purchase price and gave a $10,000 bonus to him. So he was able to save by buying the same house with just not quite his favorite exterior for 40 some thousand dollars less. So we may see some of those things happening over the next few months here. Um, they're gonna be few and far between, I feel, but we are gonna see some of that happening. Instead, what we're gonna see is the market start to shift on interest rates and the financing side. I've already started to see it. In fact, check out this graphic right here. So let's take a look a minute at the interest rates. As you can see here, here it goes all the way back and you can see where they were nice and low and then they started to go up. And then you see how they have those spots where it jumped way up. And then you can see here in July, things all of a sudden took a dip. Well, what was that? What that actually was is that the Fed decided to raise the rate by 0.75%. What does that mean? Nothing really to interest rates. People get it confused. They think that the Fed raising the rate is directly correlated to interest rates and it actually works in the opposite way. So when the Fed took the rate up some, it actually made interest rates drop down some. So you can see here where the rates were up. On July 26, the rate for a 30 year mortgage was 5.55%. And on Friday, July 29th, just three days later, it dropped from 555 down to 5.13 as an average 30 year fixed loan. Does this mean that we're already starting to see a correction to the correction that was made? I actually think so. I believe that when the mortgage companies started to raise up interest rates, they went a little too quickly. Things jumped a little too much and people started to panic, taking the entire market and bringing it to a halt. People started to think back to 2008. It's not that long ago, only 14 so years ago, that we had that major bubble burst where prices of homes just were cut and slashed left and right. And it literally became a game of how low can you go? How low are we gonna be able to take the prices before we'll be able to get it to actually sell? And sellers became desperate and started throwing anything and everything, including the kitchen sink, into the deal 
just to try to make things happen. We're not gonna see that happen again, like I've mentioned over the last several months. If you don't believe me, go check out some of my previous videos and you'll see. This is the same thing that I was saying then. In fact, I'm not the only one who said this. Remember my video I did last week? What did Dave Ramsey say? If you're waiting on the market to drop so you can buy a house for a deal, you're gonna continue waiting and not buy anything. One of the few things that I can actually say I agree 100% with Dave Ramsey about, but it's so very true. If you're waiting for prices to drop and the bottom to fall out of this market, you're gonna be waiting for a while and you're not gonna see it. Um, I had a conversation earlier today with a gentleman who said, well, do you think I can buy a house for the 250 mark again? And I said, yeah, I don't see that happening. He said, well, I'm gonna wait till the winter comes through and then I'll try to buy one at that price. It's not gonna happen. He's waiting and instead of getting a house for a better deal after waiting a while, it's actually gonna cost him more. Why is that? Prices are gonna continue to steadily go up. They're not gonna do the 15, 20, 30% jumps like we saw before, but historically, real estate as a whole has gone up on an average of three to 5% on an annual basis. So homes are gonna to continue to go up. So if that home is 200,000 now and he waits a couple months, it's going to go up even at just the 3%, it's gonna go up $6,000. If it goes up at the 5%, that's $10,000. So that $200,000 home is now 205 to 210. So while he's waiting for the market to crash, if interest rates go up a little bit, if prices go up a little bit, it's going to cost them a whole lot more. So what is going to happen with interest rates over the next few months? Honestly, I feel they're going to go up a little, down a little, up a little, down a little. Kind of like riding a roller coaster for the next several months. Maybe as we get into 2023, you'll see them come back down a little bit. Are the days of seeing them in the 2 to 3% range coming back? Honestly, I don't think they're going to. Are rates going to go up to the 7 to 10% again? Hopefully not, you know, but even if they do, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. Back when I bought my first home in 2008, I remember my interest rate was 7.69%. I, as a young 20 year old, was ecstatic to be able to purchase a home at that time and have something to call my own. I was more than happy to pay that 7.69%. But here's the thing you need to remember in any mortgage that you get. As you begin to make payments on that, if you start to see the mortgage rates go down, go and do a refinance. It only costs about two to three thousand dollars to do, and you can refinance your mortgage and lower your rate and lower your monthly payments. So maybe now is a good time to go purchase that property because the unknowns are going to continue to be out there. We're going to continue to have this inflation for a little while longer, unfortunately. And number two, we're going to continue to have supply chain issues that are going to make getting products very difficult. And as long as those two unknowns stay out there, we're going to see this whole bit of just living in limbo with things not knowing what the future holds. So in closing, my suggestion to you, go ahead and buy that beach house now. Go ahead, get a place here. Why? Because you can't put a price on the happiness and joy you're gonna get from spending a couple days at the beach. When you live here, you can go as many days as you want to and spend an hour or two and refuel yourself. You're not gonna be able to put a price on the fun that you get on being able to go out on the waterway on a boat. You can't put a price on the fun that you're gonna have playing a round of golf on one of our beautiful courses. And you know what? You're never gonna have to shovel snow again. So that doesn't have a price either that we can put on it. It's though those are the things that are gonna bring joy and happiness into your life that are just invaluable. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, get the bell on, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.